Ooh. Well, you're in luck because I brought something delicious. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I saw from the special place. From the very special place. You know how to get your man's heart, don't you? So you drove all the way to San Gabriel for me? Yes, I thought you could use some love from your favorite Chinese place. You always know exactly what I need. I like to think I do. Well, 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 it looks like Taylor and Ridge are in full on flirt mode, but Brooke does show up and break up the little flirt fest and we will break down those scenes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Bold and the Beautiful review. Please take a moment to like the video. Let's get into it. I mean, you haven't blocked me or anything, right? No, of course I didn't block you. I just didn't feel right to respond. I just wanted to check and see how you're doing. Brooke, we've been through so much together. Well, I'm not doing this to hurt you, Deacon. It's just, we both know how Ridge feels. I know. Especially I, I, now. I get it. I do. Okay, it's good that Brooke is not taking Deacon's calls and not leading him on by responding to his every text message. But she has got to tell him to stop popping up at the house like this. this if she wants Ridge back, this is not going to work at all. And Deacon, why or oh why do you keep popping up, begging her to give you a chance when she's made it clear that she's all in on Ridge? It's looking a little pathetic at this point. I mean, the stuff up. No, it's okay. I got it. I got it. So, what do I owe you? Just the tip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taylor, what's going on? Is it just me or are they trying to make Taylor's character a little bit more sassy with Krista playing her? Drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts because I don't remember when Hunter played Taylor, um, her having all of these little jokes that could have double meanings like when she says, see you next Tuesday when Brooke came to the office and just now with the just the tip to Ridge and the sassiness when she walked in on Brooke and Eric talking. I feel like they're trying to make Taylor edgier, which is great. I mean, it's definitely nice to have a different character, but I feel like they're rewriting her character. Let me know your thoughts, all my longtime viewers and the people that just started watching. Let me know your thoughts on that. And did anyone else notice how this scene was very playful and flirty on both their parts, but it seemed like Ridge was teasing Taylor a little bit. There were a couple of times where he leaned in like he was going to kiss her and she was ready, but he didn't actually kiss her. So what's going on here? You know, Rich came here to Eric's to be alone, to take some time for himself. So can you respect that? Can you just leave him alone for a second? <laughs> this is, this is ironic because, because you're here too. I, I, I'm here because, um, Steffi just left town with the kids. Yeah, we encouraged her to go. Do we think both women are being hypocrites here? Because they're clearly both fighting for Ridge unapologetically. Brooke shows up, and yes, she is still his wife, and she tells Taylor to, to leave and give Ridge space, but as Taylor said, she is there. Then Taylor tries to make it seem like, oh, she's only there to talk to him about Steffi. Come on now, we all know that's not the reason, or we will say that's not the only reason she was there. She made it clear that she liked hanging out with her best friend and she was in full flirt mode the whole time. So do we think both ladies are being hypocrites as they fight for Ridge's heart again? Let me know your thoughts. So, Chinese food? Yeah. Yeah, I picked up uh, Ridge's favorite Chinese we are having dinner together. We are. How long are you planning on staying, Taylor? Brooke, I, our daughter's husband just died in a tragic shooting and she just took her kids overseas. Do y'all think Brooke was waiting for her invite to join them for dinner? I'm not going to lie. I was sitting there wondering, is Taylor going to invite her to sit with them like she did Eric? And what was this deflection to Steffi that Taylor did when Brooke asked, how long are you going to stay? It's a simple question. And, you know, Ridge and I need a little time to process this, too. Right, Ridge? Come on. Do you want to tell Brooke? Do you want to tell her that we need some time?
Ridge is looking like, oh boy, don't put me in the middle of this. This is the last thing I want. But you know what? Maybe this is what he needs. Group dates like The Bachelor. So everybody knows if they're on the same page or not. And the way Taylor was talking about we need time to process this almost sounds like she and Ridge are the couple and not Brooke and Ridge. So I'm thinking that this storyline and the Donna Quinn, Eric Carter storyline will be the main two storylines for the next few weeks. I guess we'll have to tune in to see how it plays out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share, and I will catch you on the next one.